<laughs> lame with it. That was lame, man. You went. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Oh, you got the. This is way too angled on me. No, sweetie. Right there. More. Like, you, you have cut. Like, you're not popping, too. You can't turn it? Mm. That you can't turn that? Yeah. Hey y'all, we don't own the rights to this music. We do not own the rights to this music. Hey, sweating in the RV because Brandon says it lower the AC. <laughs> Got my hair is up. Oh, good job, Mr. Barker. What's up, y'all? We don't own the rights to this music. We don't not own the rights to this music. I should have put. Yeah, that's too much now. Right there, that's good. I should have put uh, on the title. We don't own the rights to this music. Hold on, I should put on the title. What you said, RV Living? Is that what you said? No, I just put Mary Shock on the uh, RV. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's up? Who's chimed on? Who's chimed on? Say what up, what up, what up? What up, what up? I don't like this because it makes me look hot down here. That's yeah. just the light. Babe. I don't like it. What's up, y'all? Put this right here. Not too hot. Uh oh. We don't own the rights to this music, y'all. You know how to put the reggae on. What's up? What's up? Let's talk. I know it's late. Hey. He be doing the most. Yeah. So so city. Have the rights are to him. We do not own the, the rights to this music, y'all. We're about to jump in because it's already what? 10 o'clock, baby. 11? Yeah. Oh, Someone yeah. We got to get, yeah, this, yeah, we gotta go. get this going. What's up, y'all? I don't even know if people are still up. If you are, do you need to get in more? Or your head look funny. Why yeah. your forehead look like that? <laughs> I got to sit down with it. No, 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 no. You can't. You look bigger, babe. You look funny like that. There it goes. Alright. Maybe I gotta put you more in. Are you getting in? Your arm look huge. Get in the camera. <laughs> Move the scoot over. Alright. So, I don't like it. I don't like this angle we got going on. But anyways, I'll hop I'll hop in like this. Yeah, so. You gotta turn your head though, because you point it, you put it up, it makes it look like a peanut head. Like, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. So, you see the title. Um... We really were like, what to really discuss because the time difference is kind of like kicking our butt. Brandon been busy. I've been busy with the boys. Y'all seen some of some of my videos because yes. Brandon been MIA on social media. I've been MIA. Um, so, hey, cuzzo. Um, so, it's marriage talk, family fun, supporting your spouse, and RV trip fun, and baby talking. So, it's like we just talking. Yes. And what time is it here? 10. It is about to be 10.30 here. We're in Mobile, Alabama. Mo they say Mobile. Mobile. That's what they say out here. So, since we're in Mobile, right, in Mobile. we did we did find out some interesting facts. Somebody put it on my Instagram yesterday. So, Mardi Gras is out here. Somebody said, you know it originated in Mobile, right? So, I Mardi guess. Gras is out here, and it, uh, yesterday was the last day for uh, Fat Tuesday. Well, for Mardi Gras, yesterday for, was Fat Tuesday. For Fat Tuesday, so what, they getting ready for Lent? When is Lent? I don't know, but my neck going to So, be the fun fact about Mardi Gras, you know, where everybody want to <clears throat> so-called go to New Orleans, right, mm -hmm. for Mardi Gras, when Mardi Gras originated in Mobile, Alabama. Found that out <laughs> this week, right? How did you find out, babe? Tell us. Found that out through a teach, my teacher. My teacher. I'm out here with uh, one of my um, classes I'm taking, and my teacher told me it originated out here. And the last thing you want to do is tell them that Mardi Gras originated in New Louisiana. Orleans, because they would be like, nope, sir. No, sir. So they was like, check your history books, right? <laughs> so... That's one fun fact I found out while I'm out here in Mobile. And that's why I put supporting your spouse because, as you see, I'm out here. The boys are out here. You guys seen my stories. You guys seen a lot of posts I've been putting up with some posts. I'm going to put some more pictures and stuff. I haven't really done that. And it's a big deal because y'all know this belly is out there. Like, according to Brandon, he said it's, 
It's poking out there, babe. It's poking. You, your, your belly's poking. It's like right there. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with it? Is the baby about to poke out? Like, what am I so, supposed to do? So, look. This is our first time doing the RV thing, right? And, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a very luxurious, lux, luxurious. luxurious RV. Um, y'all can see, uh, if y'all see Jen's Instagram or... It's been on my Facebook stories, or too. Or Facebook stories. It looks very great. <laughs> the reason why we went RV, because the fact For that... one. It, the one reason, because it's Mardi Gras. So Which we didn't know. We did not know that. So everything was like booked up to the max. And right? double the expense. And double the expense. So we did do an RV. And it looked really nice. And Brandon was like, well, I could check it out because I want, I want to buy one. And he, he was like kind of into it. Not, not sure. So I said, this would be a good opportunity for us to try. And that's when I said, well, I want to go too. I don't want you be in the RV by yourself and calling me on video and me thinking... I wish I was there, babe, and the kids and stuff. So I said, you know what? Let's go. I want to support Brandon. I honestly, and to be honest with y'all, he knows this. I really didn't even want him driving the little four or five hours by himself. I just don't like it. I'm really like, for you guys that know me, and this might be silly, but I am a little overprotective when it comes to Brandon. Like, I really am. Who don't know that? Um. <laughs> so. Really? Yes. Really? So, uh, so the RV, right? We have two TVs. One is up this way, where one of the kids is. If sleeping. you might can hear him snoring. snoring, yeah. And then the other one is in the master bedroom, which mm -hmm. is that way, right by the bathroom. And we got Fire Stick, and yeah. we got Netflix. And, and there's a TV outside. Oh yeah, there's which a TV I want to try outside. tomorrow night, babe. I want to try. It. All right. And so there's a TV outside. We got a there's full a grill, kitchen, fireplace, everything. So this is very interesting for us to try this for the first time. How are you liking it so far? Ooh. We've been here since Monday. We went no, was it Monday? Well, at Alabama since Sunday. Sunday, but we here Monday. RV. Um, how are you? Liking? I like it. I know you would probably not as much into it. Um, I just I'm the, not. I don't. I'm the not. bed scenario is a little bit intense for me because it's not as comfortable because it's it's comfortable but not. Like for pregnant, comfortable. Yeah. Um, the bathroom I think is fine. It's not huge. Like and I feel in my big good, old belly. Good hot water. Yeah, it is better. <laughs> better than the house for like five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Um, I I like it. It's pretty cool. Like it honestly, it's sometimes I forget that we're even in a car. Because uh, yeah, it's a car. So automobile technically it's a car. Yeah. Automobile, whatever it is, truck, SUV, whatever you want to call it, because. You don't hear nothing around you. Like, the blinds are cold. Like, you, it's really like a house. Like, really. So, mm. So yeah. What do you think? Um, Honestly, it's pretty cool. You know what I mean? He said um, he wouldn't buy it, though. What? He wouldn't buy it. I don't know if I would buy it because I really don't know the uh, maintenance mm -hmm. for this RV. That's the only thing that would be stopping me from buying an RV. But I do like it far as, you know, if you was to go on road trips and especially once your kids get in college and if they're mm -hmm. doing sports and stuff like that, instead of playing all them airplane flights and if they're playing in a certain region, it'll be good to just travel that way compared to getting hotel rooms mm -hmm. and, you know, flights all the time. So and I we think, are close to the beach. Yes, we are close to the so beach. So we might do a little main skip. Before we get back, it was back. almost eighty degrees today, y'all. It was very nice today. It's ridiculous. Um, so that's about the RV stuff. The boys love it. They're enjoying it. They think it's like a whole fun family thing. Yes. They're enjoying the little bunk area up here, the outdoors, playing. <sighs> Excuse me. It's Sorry, a different type of lifestyle. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know it's my bedtime. It's a different type of lifestyle. It's country, guys. Yes. I thought Brandon was country, y'all. There's more country people in this world. <laughs> <laughs> we passed by the Mardi Gras, and I was like, whoa, Brandon, this is your people's. He's yeah. like, nah, there's more country. Uh, yes. So, as far as marriage tip, right? Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Well, which, I don't even know what he's about to say. How has it been? Uh oh, sexually. <laughs> oh. How has it been with the marriage life, in your opinion, out here? Like what though? Cause like, we've been so focused on 
you going to your classes, me kind of stepping up my role as a wife besides being pregnant, like making sure like lunches is made, like I make sure if he calls me at a certain time that the food is ready in case he has to come, he's hungry, I get up and do breakfast for him. So like that type of marriage stuff mm-hmm. is more wifely duties, <laughs> not that much love. Mm-hmm. Cause I'd be like, and we'd be tired yeah. at the end of the night, and I'm like, come here, show me love, and Brandon be like, I'm like, can I get a rub? And he gives me a little quick, three second little rub, and I'm like, my legs is cramping up. I need like the real deal. So as far as that aspect, we gotta, you know. But I have been cooking at night. One time. Two times. What's the other time? I grilled yesterday. <laughs> You did grill and, hamburgers. Uh, I don't really count those. Oh, that don't count. All right, but you ate. That counts, <laughs> right? Yeah. So um, yeah. So you know. So we both kind of today. been doing that. I swear, I've been washing dishes every day. Yeah. I will say that. But it's not as many dishes as you washing I will say that. At home. I will say I've been washing every day. But she's been doing good on the lunch. I come I'm home. I'm tired though, lunch. y'all. Well, I come to the RV for lunch. Um, which my class is what ten minutes, about ten fifteen minutes away. Yeah. From here, so it don't take me no time. By the time I tell her I'm on my way, I'm like five minutes away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's right. like, okay. Um, the class has been very interesting. I've been learning a lot of things about mobile. Meeting some friends, meeting different people. And this is the first time. What I'd about a- you with marriage? You just skipped all over that. Okay, with me with marriage, it's been a little bit of a struggle, right? Because Does it? Mm-hmm. because you asked me, right? Because I, I forgot to finish my part. Oh, go ahead. Finish, I meant man. to finish how I know how I said like because we haven't been to like the love because it's been so we've been tired and busy and stuff. But I kind of feel like that's how the average marriage is. Because like they're so caught up on the routine with you know getting up, the school, the work, the kids, the hobbies, the this and that. Because you know we we don't do as much routine at home when it comes to because I'm home and the boys and stuff. So I kind of feel like that's what the average marriage kind of challenges well me. you know what I'm, I, I would think about this right like this would have been a good scenario maybe I'm take my shirt off maybe during COVID <sighs> the what? RV you could turn the air conditioner oh the RV got air conditioned we just didn't sure turn does. it on because she got me here sweating y'all because it's kind of loud you know it's so good dog be um, having they freezing I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna do a TikTok with how everybody be bundled up at night <laughs> yes so For the marriage sorry yeah. So, um, but far as my aspect of, um, it's just that the kids are out of their normal atmosphere and routine. So, like, Jen gets a little bit more frustrated with the kids as far as them sticking to their routine because we don't want them to fall off their routine when they get back home. Mm -hmm. So, we try to stick to the routine that we've been doing at home. It's kind of difficult out here to stick to that and then you're in small quarters so you know kids gotta be running around but mm-hmm. we're not sure we, we're sure where we at but you know at the same time you still wanna be safe about how far they go away from you and where they at and so I did bring school stuff though so we do got school stuff they're learning mm-hmm. that and stuff and then she gotta you know figure out who's doing this and who's doing that as far as watching TV and the time and there are there is a lot of historic stuff here there's a lot of historic Which Francisco stuff, loves. Which he loves. We might, he might have to hit up a museum. Not doing that. She's not doing that. <laughs> but huh? she's Listen, do you guys understand? Like, Brendan, is for, Brendan forgets. He some, I think he forgets that, that a whole baby's coming in, like, several weeks. Yeah, I kind of do. And I'm tired. Like, I really... Like, he told me today, like, man, you're poking out. I'm like, mm, well, the baby's kind of almost coming. <laughs> like, I'm, like, almost... What, 34 weeks, I think, something mm-hmm. like that? So, like, I feel it. I'm, you know, I feel heavier. I feel yeah. tighter. I feel, you know, my legs and she my do cramping. She do got to a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes I guess I think, you know, I want the kids to be doing something mm-hmm. extra. Now, I mean, but this morning after he went to the class, I went to lay down. I told the boys, Fabian was reading to me, and I was like, uh-huh, <laughs> rub my back. I said, if you run my back for 10, I said, 15 minutes, I give you a candy. <laughs> I had the Swedish fish. He really wanted that candy. So I said, 15 minutes, you got to rub mommy's back. 
and he was like mommy come on I said nope you got 10 minutes and I was half asleep and he did the 15 semi 15 and I gave him his candy and then I was like I'm taking a nap it was like a 3 second nap and then we went back to doing work cause Good. I was like Brandon's gonna be home in like an hour to lunch and this and that so I'm tired y'all but anyways that's great that is great so so marriage you gotta work on that we do yeah we kind of been slacking. I've been slacking. Huh, well, you've been tired. Yeah. Yeah, you've been doing your class. You've been doing your class. You've been focused. You know, so it's a lot in, in, in all for both of us, for all of us and the boys, then the baby, the cooking. We're we, not about to go to eat every day. Yeah, and then we're not eating out every day, so we've been cooking, which I still got a little bit of homework to do. Not too much. Tonight? Yeah, not that much. Well, um, I still I, I need to be getting some, y'all. Like, even though I'm tired, you know, the uh, a female has her hormones still. And I know some people, like my mom told me the other day, she was like, how are you even thinking about that? And I'm like, have you seen Brandon naked? No, I didn't tell her that, though. <laughs> but I was like, what you mean? Like, the hormones are, are popping, like, to the max. And, like, Brandon, it's funny because Brandon laughs because, like, he knows I've been, like, checking him out or like I'll grab on him or well I have to dress up to go to my class oh man you gotta that's dr- horrible guys you got a strict dress code at my he, class and I'll be like damn just you looking good brother can I get some real so quick we like, wear, like slacks but no handsome or, like I'm not used to him like that every day so I was like yo you kinda I see all like your business is like your things out like what you doing you weren't that he's like what you mean I'm like, yo, how many females are in this class? It's only two. You know, let me find out. So I drop him off sometimes. Like, I went cute today. I was like, we're going to cute today. Because just in case, somebody might see me. And some people did. So I was like, okay, I'm looking cute. But, yeah, that was good. Sorry, two females, rest of dudes. I saw one and she looks whack. So it's like, whatever. Yeah. Just, but just, hey, ladies. Just because she look whack. Don't mean she won't do nothing to your man. So you silly. Watch them. They be the sneaky ones. They be the nasty ones. So you gotta watch them, ladies. She's silly. No, but it's real. Yeah, I hear you. Especially if she. Anyways, okay, moving on. Moving on. So okay, so marriage, supporting your spouse. How do you feel about us coming out here with you? Well, yeah. as a union, as a unit. Well. It was kind of the like, first day, Brandon said, y'all get on my nerves. I'm like, that is yeah, first day. Yeah, they were getting on my nerves. I was like, y'all could have stayed at home. Well, the first day, when was that? No. When you said that, was that in um, Birmingham? Oh, that whole... And then, yeah, so we had to get a hotel far away from where we at now. And like I said, the hotels were packed up, so it was like... And we got here late, so it wasn't like a hotel that we was going to spend a lot of money on. It's just one of those just, all right, we're really paying for breakfast, and then we out. <laughs> and that breakfast was the bomb. Yeah, it was. I went back and ate some more. You did? You have and took some to the room. So, we got <laughs> that, and then we was out the next day. I was at class. So, yeah. you're like, you're enjoying it, family, like... Or or you still like, man, I should have just been alone, just focused in my routine. No, no. I think it was good because... You would have been bored. No, I don't think I would have been bored. I just don't think I would have been... One, I don't think I would have been eating as well of a breakfast mm-hmm. as I'm eating. Brandon would have been eating nothing for breakfast, probably a salad, and then <laughs> hungry. Yeah, I probably would have came home... And made not, some sandwiches yeah and then went to sleep so um so I get up and feed him well guys so I'm like okay maybe I should be getting some one of these days I don't give him breakfast every morning lunch you just trying to get that vote in ain't you <laughs> trying to get that vote I don't um, shave and everything like you know how hard it is to shave when you big old belly in the way you shave everything from head to toe brother Oh see, see, that's bad when he don't even realize it because he's been so much in his own. Yeah. That's a problem, husbands. When you don't even realize, like, my whole legs are shaved. Really? Yes, yeah, because I knew it was going to be hot, so I'm wearing shorts. I'm not going to be yeah. hairy with my legs. Before we came out here on Sunday, I mean, no, Sunday at the hotel, 
I brought my shaver. Like, hello, you gotta like premeditate, ladies. Uh, I brought the shaver. Well, I didn't know she, that was Sunday. At the hotel. Oh, before y'all came here. Me that morning. When I dropped you off, I went back to have breakfast. I took a shower. Uh huh. And I was like, I have a big space in the tub. I'm pretty sure this little bathroom is not going to give me space to shave. So, yeah, I shaved my legs. I wasn't uh, going to be hairy, Larry, all around uh, um, the area with some shorts. And then I was like, well, I'm shaving. Let me try other sh- other areas. No, you know, okay. <sighs> Anyways. So, what do you think about Mobile? Would you move yeah, here? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? There's nothing here. It's so kind of, like no offense to anybody from Alabama and Mobile. No offense. There are some nice areas. Now, speaking of however, nice however, then it's it's literally only like five radius miles. Like literally, it's like you what? could go around the whole nice area in in twenty minutes. But I don't like that because that's all. So then I come live here. And all I'm gonna do is be in the nice area. Yeah, but because everywhere else, everything else, it's like little spots. Of nice, and then everything else is ratchet and hood. Nah. So country. Mm-mm. This nice spots that we went by, those houses that you like, did it, were they big houses? They were huge. Cause I thought about that. I was like, man, if I would buy one of these houses, and how much? How would my living be though? Like I would just be home. You but but you have a big enough house to be like. I'm talking about these houses. But it's lame. Old. I want to do like stuff. Them. I like them. But I want to do stuff. We're just going to be home. So listen, I like them because they're the old country homes, but they're so big and they're like 500000 but it's like eight bedrooms. They're type huge. Stuff. If those houses was in Georgia, they would be a million dollar house. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know yeah. But I mean? we have nothing. We're just going to be home. But see. Oh, the ice cream store I went to today, y'all. Uh, it's homemade. It was so amazing. But. Then for us, like, things to do, like, events. Like, we like to go out to... Like, where's the bars? Well, not the bars. No, where's the nightlife? Yeah, they don't have... I, well, maybe downtown. Maybe downtown, downtown Mobile, but... Mm-mm. No. Nope. It's not, like... The little city is, like, you can drive I know through. there was, like, a sex store, I think, or, like, a... <laughs> really? No, I saw something. It said adults. You didn't see it? It said yeah. adults something. I, was it a store, or was it, like, a bar or strip club i don't know what it was so you can literally <laughs> drive through mobile and you said down. really you can really yeah drive act like yeah don't act like i don't know about that you can really drive through mobile downtown and then in the blink of an eye you're out of it that's how quick whack what, what is it like two tall buildings maybe it was this it's not happening but it was crunk on mardi gras yeah, though yeah, mardi gras had it lit um okay so listen so we did the marriage the disappointing husband. Um, baby. Have you been reading your book? I've been reading my marriage Bible book. It's been so good. We're actually talking about intimacy and withholding from your spouse. Hmm. Oh. We should read that chapter tonight. Maybe. Yeah, so. something. Else. We should read that chapter tonight. My nose like you want to rip it off. <laughs> it talks about that it's not healthy to withhold sex from your spouse. Which we'll talk about that. I think we did already a live about that a while ago. And it talks about if you are, it needs to be um, for fasting and prayer only. Okay, and, that, and you yeah, both have to agree. Yeah, I remember that. So it's not like just Brandon just not giving me some for like a week or two. I think it should be no more than that. But some people are like, a week is nothing. I, I hope, you know, I wait a month, two. No, every, every marriage is different. Right. We have different boundaries. And mine... It's a seven day boundary. <laughs> and the seven days, maybe five, you know? So it, I, I am reading it every day. Talks is talking about sex, talking about how God um, made sex special intimacy for marriage, and how He is happy and He loves when you're intimate because really what brings the marriage together is the sex. Right. You know, trust, communication, all that stuff is great, but the sex coming to together brings your body your spirits all to one it's really good it's been great we should we should we should read it yes because we were you know we both have to agree to not have some yeah so like if you're not giving me some and i'm like okay give me some you're supposed to give me some yeah i know i think we discussed this prior though yeah we are. okay good so we need to work on that husbands yeah. wives especially the wives i noticed that there's more wives that hold out on giving their husband some 
compared to their husbands giving, I mean, holding out, giving their wives. So, yeah, I think so. What do you think? And that includes all sex, like the head and everything. <laughs> what? I'm <laughs> saying. You know. It's serious. Some ladies or some people be like, oh, no, I'm going to not give them pen in a year. Like, no. Why? That's not cool. But anyways, so yeah, I'm still reading. What about you? You've been reading? No, I haven't. Oh, what are you doing? Look at God. Look, I really been needing, I really, mm. need, I really need to get to my reading. Mm. I brought my books. Mm. But it's he like, always does it, never reads it. Well, actually, you, know, you do on the beach. Yeah, I know. But, I don't know. It's been like, get up, run, run, run. Excuses? Because I be doing breakfast. Uh, I know, but I be trying to get my yoga. I be trying to get my Bible in. I be trying to get my... If Nano was watching, he would not be happy. Because he'll be like, sir, you got to put it in or just do it earlier. Well, I get my Bible. Or at nighttime. I get my Bible in. I get my yoga in. I haven't got my meditation in like I usually. So my morning routine has been kind of off mm -hmm. on that. And I really. But you should go outside and do some in the mornings. I was thinking about that, but it's not the setting for me. <laughs> Don't look at other cars. Just be on the R's. Maybe put the TV on or like. No. I, I, I honestly, I like doing my yoga in the room. I want to do my meditation. And I'm going to do a video of him, y'all. I've been doing my Bible. In the morning. Um, journaling. I got to get back to that. I, I haven't done it today. I did it yesterday. I think I'm going to wake up a little bit earlier than what I've been normally. And it's I'm not, surprised because you be up in the bed at four. I'm like, dude, why are you up? Yeah. I you just be in the bed. Laying there. I'm like, you want to give me something at least? Like, what's up? <laughs> So I get up at four. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd, I'd be, I'm, and you, listen, for y'all to think, for you guys that think that I'm playing, I'm not. Like, this is what I really am. That's why Brandon just ignores me sometimes, because he's like, there she goes. And sometimes he'd be like, that's what you want? Take it. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not just taking it like that. I feel like, no, I'm not doing that. But, um, so besides that, what else? That's pretty much what I got. Nothing else life. marriage related on this vacation slash business slash trip family thing? No, it's like I said, it's just run, run, run. I hope y'all don't hear our son in the background. Because he's knocked out. Yeah. He's tired. Um, but that's about it. We just wanted to really come on because Check we, we didn't went. come on on Monday. Yeah, we went. And that's the reason why is because we was getting settled in. Yes, and it's just been so... We was... Monday was like... We was tired. Was really tired. Because I was back and forth with getting the place. Yeah. Going over there. Getting the other place. Movies mm -hmm. outside on your lip, babe. Sheesh. Thanks, yeah, I'm leaving it on. I my nose off again. No, no. So, um... Just letting y'all know. We're still here. We're still doing marriage stuff. We're still working on us. Um, we actually... Oh. We're actually going to a marriage conference in march yes. which is 20 bucks i'm gonna put the link in the information it's through our church we're excited it's at the church it's gonna be so good and um what else we need a date night where, where? we do out here no somewhere without the kids i know like the baby's coming soon there's no more day nights yeah we do need to do well i'm saying it will be day nights at the house the baby sleep let's get that together which that's gonna be a call newborn and dating your husband it will be happening mm, mm, even mm. if i gotta pop the boob out feed him and go back to our date yes so <laughs> what i'm hot and tired exactly so yes, gonna, exactly <laughs> so what we're gonna do is tomorrow we will have a very interesting topic tomorrow yeah <sighs> the gonna, last night we're going to come on tomorrow. We might, because it's the last night, so we might do something with the boys. Oh, yeah, because we're leaving straight after class on Friday. I forgot. I can't wait to read down my hair, Are though. we going? We don't know yet. I'm going to read down my hair probably this weekend, guys, because this looks crazy, right? So, I don't know. We don't know what we got planned for the rest of the weekend. Basically, is what Brandon is saying. We might be in 
Florida, Alaska, New Orleans, Mexico. Who knows? We're not sure. We just go along with the day. As long as we're back in the A for Monday work, Monday school, and I'm good. Because nobody spends no more school. They used to little boys that go to school. Yeah. They need to go back. But I love them. But anyways, it's been cool, you know, doing different things. Um, we did some burgers. I want to do the marshmallows maybe tomorrow night. Maybe a little movie outside. Kind of see how it goes. I don't know. Who knows? We'll check and it then out. maybe come back on or just do one of our postings. I'm one of our videos. But that's really much it. I want to show y'all. And, well, I'll put some videos up with the mobile life. Um, mobile life. Um, and that's it, right? That's pretty much it. How you feeling? Hot and tired? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can turn that air on. As soon as we get on. All right, y'all. Have a blessed night. Can you pray? Yes. Because I'm too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yeah, lucky I didn't do this call with no shirt on because, whoo, this bad boy's about to come off. Spirit of the living God, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for everything you've been doing in our lives. Thank you for just elevating us and still continue to elevate these marriages that get on these calls. I pray that they're not going through any struggle, but if they're going through any struggle, they know that they can always call on you, Father, to fix their problems, to help reconcile their problems, to move forward, and to focus on you and make you the center of their marriage. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Short, sweet, and good. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and guess what, y'all? Well, we don't want to rest to this. Hold up. Guess what? Come oh, on. Our room in the back has, like, mad mirrors all around. Are you serious? Get out of I'm here. I'm serious. So, I'm like, dude, you know what we're supposed to be doing? There's mirrors on the sides. Shoot, I'm surprised they don't got them right on the top. So, y'all already know. We're coming back when I'm not pregnant to this RV and turning up. But anyways, um, you have a blessed one. Thanks for chiming in. See ya. Peace. We don't own the rights to this.